There's a world full of mercy and peace Mercy and peace waiting for me Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Patience if you're new and I'm so happy to have you here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to like and share and let me know what you think by leaving a comment on this video. I make uh, Christian content and videos based on my journey with Jesus and I am so happy to be taking you guys with me. Today I'm talking about secular music, secular movies, secular series and secular everything. And for those who do not know, I got born again last year of Ju around July and I decided to give my whole life to Christ. I have been a Christian my whole life, but I didn't live the Christian life because it didn't occur to me that I need to not live like everybody else even though I was professing and confessing that I am a Christian and but everything changed and during that time I decided that I should you know cut off all types of secular music and secular movies and series for a short period because um, I wanted at the time my reason was that I wanted to concentrate on God and building my relationship with him so for me that was just a way to remove and get rid of all my distractions so in the beginning it wasn't that i thought it was wrong or because you know i'm a new person now like i've changed so i'm putting it all behind no it was because i just decided okay in this period i want to focus really so much on jesus so let me press pause so it was so that i could create room for Jesus so instead of watching a movie or a series that's just wasting my time I would use that time to um, read my Bible and listen to podcasts and sermons that are based on you know my Christian faith because I was I was like you know I'm new to this I I want to learn as much as possible I want to give it everything I've got and then I was like, after a certain period, I'm going to start watching them again. Um, yeah, I just gave myself a short amount of time. So in the at the start, I, that's what I did. So before I got born again, I was a big, big fan of all the secular music you can think of. I always used to tell people that I do not have a specific genre of music that I like as long as the music was good so a lot of hip-hop a lot of um, afro music a lot of pop music a lot of that and I just it was as long as it's popular as long as it it's in especially for like tiktok I really used to love making tiktoks but the problem is with most of those songs they a lot of them were very bad I know bad is a strong word, but they were bad for my spiritual growth. They did not glorify God at all. A lot of the lyrics were, I really loved to listen to like Pop Smoke and Pop Smoke talks about murdering people. <laughs> and Cardi B, she was my favorite. I could rap all of her lyrics and she was very explicit. Uh, just songs about you know sex and drugs and and partying nothing about you know making your your life better nothing that glorifies God nothing that if God was you knew God was sitting right next to you you wouldn't listen to any of those songs and I just I thought well at first it wasn't a big deal I was just taking a break and that goes for movies as well. My favorite series of all time, and we could we could argue about this, was the Game of Thrones. And I could watch it over and over and over and over again. And if you've if you've watched that series, it's a good one. But they have very explicit um, scenes, and every other like series that I love to watch. Um, for it, though it was normal, it had a lot of they had a lot of themes where. It was so against what the Bible says, like either glorifying abortion or glorifying um, homosexuality, glorifying murder, 
glorifying fornication and with time when you consume a lot of those things you you start to you start to forget that there is a way that Christians have been called to live and so you think it's okay for you to do some of those things that they do on the on those um, movies and series because you know they're doing it if everybody's doing it why not you and I didn't think it was a problem another one of my favorite favorite absolute favorite TV show that I would watch over and over was Sex and the City Sex and the City was uh, I would watch it like every day, every single day, like just to pass time or whatnot. I, it, it was one of my favorites. And if you've seen it, you'd know that Sex and the City is, it's just, it's, it's, um, it's not a very edifying show. It has a lot of cuss words and sex scenes and, and, a lot of themes that do not go along with what God has called us to be as Christians, but I didn't care because it was normal again for me. Um, and that was a majority of everything that I used to love to watch. And I was really into everything of the world. And did it help me? No. My spiritual life was literally dead because your reflection on the outside depends on what's on the inside and what's on the inside depends on what you let inside through your eyes your ears and things you do places you go to people that you interact with so when i got born again i like i said i decided to make to to give myself a break from watching those and listening to those um, kinds of songs and watching those kinds of movies and series just a break but after a while I realized that I wasn't feeling some of those feelings that come about when you listen to certain types of songs like for example some types of songs would take me back to a time when I was maybe hurting or when I was having um, a hard time because you know when you have a hard time and life is going some type of way you want to listen to a certain type of song and like kind of wallow in your <laughs> sorrows and after I got born again every time I would go back to listen to those types of songs it would take me back and I didn't want that so that's one of the things that made me stop completely to watch them and I also did not want to make to listen to songs that made me want to go back to the club get drunk um, just basically go back to sinning and a lot of people do not realize that one of the reasons uh, we struggle so much with um, leaving our sins behind and our sinful life behind is because of the movies and the songs that we listen to because they have made it normal for the way of the world for us to live in the way of the world but we're not supposed to do that and the more we listen to it the more it entices us Music is one of the biggest ways that the devil um, ensnares and traps the people of God. Music and also movies and series and social media. So based on what you consume, your, what your eyes see, what your ears hear, you meditate on that. Knowingly or unknowingly, you end up meditating on that and then the results that you see is you know living a life of sin and not really realizing that you know this is a life of sin that i shouldn't be living this way that god has called us to a higher standard um so i just i i didn't want to feel like i missed my old lifestyle my old friends my old way of living i just didn't want to sin anymore and that is how I eventually cut it off completely. Now, it is important to say that um, everybody's journey is very different. And not all types of movies and series and secular music are bad. They're not all bad. Some of them are not bad at all. But you, you just have to be very discerning and very careful about what you listen to and what you sing, especially paying attention to what are the lyrics and what is its 
what's the theme of that thing you're watching or listening to what are they talking about what are they advocating and is it in line with the word of god our litmus test is always the word of god it is a guide that's what we use the word of god if it goes against the word of god you should not be listening to it you should not be watching it because it will corrupt your um, beliefs it will make you have feelings that are meant to lead you astray the thief the devil is a lion the bible says that is roaming around seeking to kill steal and destroy and the one of the he doesn't always do this in a very obvious way sometimes he uses music and movies and series and social media so what are you consuming what are you consuming are you watching people be naked all over the place you you're also gonna want to dress like that if you're watching very explicit shows you're not gonna see eventually you're not gonna see a problem with living that type of life being promiscuous and fornicating and be and you're not gonna find a problem with homosexuality and abortion because those are some of the main themes um, what kind of music are you listening to are they advocating for drinking and getting drunk and having too many sexual partners so there's a lot of reasons why people decide to listen to certain types of music and to watch um, series and TV shows. And one of those thing, reasons is when you're going through a hard time and you want to get distracted. I know for me, it, it's just, it's, it's like comfort food, but for your eyes and ears, right? So it's like, you want to get distracted and not think about what's happening around you or the hard time that you're going through and so you decide oh let me let me watch this like it's going to distract me from maybe the pain or anxiety or depression that i'm feeling and so that's what we do but when you're a christian um the thing that we're not supposed to be doing is looking for distractions but looking at our pain and um and looking for jesus to take it away so if you're feeling some type of way instead of running to the things of the world that make you feel comfortable um you're supposed to like take out your bible and read and 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 talk to god like don't try and be distracted because you're gonna distract yourself and then when the distraction is over you're gonna still f be feeling the same way and you're not gonna be anywhere better really so if you're feeling like you need to distract yourself it's that's when you need to be looking at jesus because there's tons of material online and books that you could read the bible and things that you could listen to that will help you get through what you're going through a lot of christian podcasts a lot of christian content online youtube listen to what people have to say about how god took them through their tough times and you're also get gonna get through your tough time but if you're um if you're gonna be looking at the things of the world to help you then you're not gonna get help it's gonna be very temporary and it's not gonna help you in any way one of the biggest downsides to to watching secular TV shows and movies and listening to secular music is it makes the things of the world that we're not supposed to be doing as Christians, it makes them look normal. The Bible says that we are a peculiar people. We're not normal in any way and our lives are not supposed to be normal compared to people who are not born again. So it makes sex out of marriage look like it's even desirable if we're honest it makes um immodest um clothing look very desirable it makes dating in the wrong way and like dating like fornication and having sex out of marriage it makes it look desirable even working as as christians we're not supposed to just be like everybody else even in our workplace so what do 
what do the shows that you watch and the things that you listen to what are they what are they telling you about your situation whether it's work or marriage or schooling what does it tell you and does it contradict the word of god because a lot of times they do contradict the word of god they also make homosexuality look desirable they make um having kids out of marriage you decide okay um I'm old enough to have kids, so I'm just going to have kids with just anybody and then let's keep it pushing because time's ticking. It's it's a wrong way to go about things and we're, we ought to be careful not to fall into the trap of the enemy because the devil is a liar. And if we're not careful, we're going to we're gonna fall in his trap. This goes without saying, but Christians have been set apart and we have been called to live a godly life outside of how everybody else lives but that becomes so much harder when we concentrate and focus on and meditate on the things of the world that's what sometimes makes makes it hard it's not really hard to want to wait until marriage it's not really hard to obey the word of god if you saturate yourself with the things of god so But if you saturate yourself with the things that aren't of God, you're going to think to yourself, and it's, it's sort of like a delusion where you think you're missing out. You see everybody else is partying, raving, drinking, smoking, having a great time. It's a delusion, and you think you're missing out when you're really not. But when you're not focusing on those things, and you're really you're really focused on the Word of God, and your, your, what you consume online, and what you're watching is is people who have really given themselves to god you're gonna you're not even gonna miss the things of the world because what you're consuming is people doing the things that you ought to do as a christian and you're gonna do that so it really matters what we feed ourselves i used to have a pastor who used just to say that you know garbage in garbage out what you what you take it is what is gonna come out and you know the bible says that you will know them by their fruits so when you concentrate when you when you and you feed yourself the right things your fruits are gonna be the right kind of fruits that jesus has asked us to have i'm at my parents house and there's like so much going on (laughs) In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse, verse 2, he admonishes Christians to desire the sincere milk of the word, if I'm not wrong. Um, for us to have a successful Christian life where we are being obedient to the word of God and to really hear God's voice, we need to have, first of all, a desire to do the right things and to hear the word of God and to obey him right but if we're not feeding ourselves with the right things then we do not have that desire and then it becomes hard so because I took out these things that I'm talking to you about it wasn't that hard for me and so I started to genuinely desire to do the things that the people I was watching were doing I started to desire to read the word more and this is how it works as a Christian the more you read the word of God the more you desire it the more you obey God the more you want to obey God the more you want to hear God the more you hear him and the more you hear him the more you hear him like does that make sense once you start knowing what his voice is like the more you you can discern that you know this is my voice this is the enemy's voice and this is God's voice so you have to consistently do those things and I cannot tell anybody to stop you know stop watching a show stop watching a movie stop listening to songs but I can tell you to think about what those shows bring out of you what emotions do you feel when you're listening to certain things and watching some some things even on social media there's a certain channels and and certain people that i used to follow on youtube and instagram and tiktok that i had to stop following because they were dressed in a way that i wasn't um, gonna be dressing in anymore and they were talking about things that I shouldn't be listening to as a Christian. Just 
you know, things that the Bible calls sin. I couldn't do that anymore. I couldn't consume that kind of content on social media anymore because it would bring me back or it would make my growth very stagnant. So listen to listen to your feelings. How do they how do the things that you listen to make you feel? Do they make you feel like you want to sin? Does it make you feel like you miss your old way of life if you're transitioning or if you're trying out something new? And if you are a Christian and you've been listening to this to these things, observe your life. Have you been growing? How is your spiritual life? Have you been growing in your relationship with God? Have you do you do you pray more or less? Do you want to spend time with him more or less? Do you read your Bible more or less? Look at your life and sometimes the things that we need to cut out is the music we listen to or the things we're watching even podcasts um even radio stations music any type of content that does not go along with the word of god should not be something that you're consuming as a christian because it 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 slows you down and even more than that it's sometimes a distraction now it could be something that's not even wrong to watch right it's just fun but be careful not to get distracted when god is telling you to pray about a situation god sometimes wants you to pray about a situation and really focus on him but if you're not focusing on him he's not going to be able to help you because your focus is on something else it's on things that are not going to help you get out of what you're going through and it's hard it's really hard in the beginning because well for me it was very boring to just listen to christian content all the time in the beginning right content all the time but did it help me absolutely 100% because all my life watching these other things and listening to these other things they never helped me you know know who i am in christ um get through anxiety and depression and feeling like you're not good enough because everybody else looks so pretty and their makeup is always so good and their outfits and they're always going here and there and you st- sort of start feeling like hmm am i good enough do i need this to be good enough maybe maybe if i do this and that then i'm going to be i'm going to be like better i don't know but when you cut off th- all, all of those things right it's the result is amazing because god will not teach you anything using the things of the world the thing what he wants you to learn what he, how he how you should pray how you should live your life you're not going to learn that by listening to people of the world teaching you sometimes yes if it's if it's good information if it's going to help you in other ways yeah it's okay to listen to it but your primary source should be from god as a christian your primary source should be god and people who make content that is meant for christians it sounds ridiculous, right? It sounds ridiculous that oh like now we should cut off the news because the news is not like Christian content. No. Let's be wise about it and let's not really hold on to the things of the past and the things that we're so used to because it's not going to it's not going to help us. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a comment and make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't and share 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 because there are a lot of people who need this content and yeah you leaving a comment and liking will make sure that it reaches more people and we want to reach a lot of people who need christian content right let's not say there's not enough christian content on the internet this is one of them and yeah stay tuned as i prepare to make more videos and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one you're the god who reigns i know you're the god who saves